he's just a hack. He's just an absolute hack. And he gets his ass kicked by his teammates every week. It's just, you know, it's terrible. It's just terrible. Welcome back to another episode of the Believe in NFL. <laughs> Why are you making that face? Can you just... Can we, start the sh- child? can we start the show? Can we start the I'm sorry that you get you know no what bitches. I can see. I'm sorry you that know that's what I can what see. Is. I can see buildings. I can see trees. I hey, also, I'm just filling you in on a possible development. So it's, it's not yeah. all shot. It's not all done for yet. All right. Later on tonight, if nothing happens, done for. Brother, Dunished, you win this conversation. Brother, you know what? You know what? But you know what? You pulled you know that. You know pulled what? that out, you know which wait, was what I was going to introduce. Wait. I was going to talk wait. about eyesight. Yeah, but you were you were making a face like you were all mad at me for trying to like like. Give you, give you. Or actually, I wasn't giving you any advice. I was completely going at you. That I was. There was nothing Dude, friendly about what I was saying. I wasn't even, the conversation beforehand. I didn't even mind. I'm talking Sean, about the eyesight comment you had. If you take her out on a date, I will oh, pay I'm not for the date. About this. Yes, you are. But you. That's what you were all upset about. The eyesight no, thing. No, no, that's not no, what I was all upset about. I was, I was talking about. Bullshit. You were bullshit. talking about. Oh, I wear bullshit. glasses. That this girls like these glasses. And you're telling me. You're calling me blind when I can see just fine. No, but the conversation about the glasses before that was about something completely different. It was about I think uh, I was very success. understanding. I think I was very understanding within that you were, conversation. You were, you were calling me dorky and awkward, and you, you said are. And you wear glasses, and I I said that the girls like the glasses. And I'm a big so fat gonna, goof. So there, gonna, there's uh, that's how it works. So so I think I was very receptive to your input in that conversation. I it think I agreed really, with a lot of what you were saying. I said really the only it. disagreement we really had was that I shot one more shot in the game than you did. Yeah, that's I would. The only I, dis- I, I, that's I, the I, only point where we disagreed. When we talk about likelihood of happening, we're talking about uh, opportunity, uh, uh, getting off on the right foot. All of those I agree with you with. For our confused listeners, Sean double texted. If the girl responds, I'll buy you. I'll pay for the dinner. I that's, promise. Deal. I, I got Not only actually. Sorry. Wait. Wait. You have to actually go though. Like you can't. You can't take yourself out on a date, or she, if she stands you up, it doesn't count. Like, if she yeah. stands me up, you you get to buy me a case. No. Yes. You get stood up. That's worse than. That's actually worse than her not responding. Understood. Yeah. I, hey, Joe. I'm from Virginia, not Mars. Okay. All okay. right. Today on the FCS Football Podcast, we're very distracted. Uh, week two of the college football season. I don't know why anyone listens to the show. I ask myself the question. Every single time. Uh, last week, we were pretty on topic, and we did pretty good on sure. in terms of interaction, but we're off to a hot start. We're both pissed off at each other for some reason. It's late <laughs> hey, on a Wednesday. I'm not pissed off at you. We need to get that straight. I'm Joe DeLeon, joined, my, joined by my former teammate, former roommate, Mr. Sean Anderson, uh, two former Rhode Island football players. Today, for week two, we are talking about UT Martin at Missouri State. That game is kicking off on Thursday. The other good matchup, not a ranked matchup, is South Dakota at Montana. Sean, outside of uh, everything else that we're yelling at each other about, how are you doing? You excited to bet on these these NFL games this weekend? Uh, I am. I got about 16. There's 16 games. There's 16 bets I could make. All right. And it always starts like this. So so just wait for me to get cold. I can't. I'm I'm such a buffoon. I'm getting a light. I'm letting you know right now I'm buying a light tonight because I'm sick of this. I'm sick of looking like a blue person in the screen. Yeah, and I I'm look, committing I, to the I light. Look great. Okay, good. I'm Did committing. You get a webcam? I want Did people. You get a webcam yes. Too? Okay. Yes. That's what I would. That's what I meant. All okay. right. I'm getting the full the full kit and caboodle. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm very proud of you. Just letting you know that right now. Um, but for the gambling, Joe, I am going to, I'm going to go. There's not a line that I don't like for either team, and it's week one, and people are going to say it's week one. This is when it's easiest because you can just take what you know from last year. And put it into week one. That's what you can do. There's going to be little minor adjustments, but for the most part, we're not seeing failures. We're not seeing uh, injuries. We already we don't have a we don't have a sense of newness in the air uh, uh, for for change and how a season is going to go. So week one, just use the prejudice that you held for the whole year last year in your recap. You know where you do that at, Joe? Bet online. online. The fastest and easiest way to wager on all of your favorite sports, contests, and events with first-to-market odds and lines, find reviews, and news for every league, including Major League Baseball. Don't even bother with that. It's the last month of the season. We get back to NLB playoffs. I'll have some locks for you. NFL, how about this lock? Indianapolis minus eight, uh, uh, covering eight versus Houston. They're going to beat them by 10. At least Houston stinks. Everyone is going to keep telling me about how good Damian Pierce is. Tell me how good Damian Pierce is when he sees Shaquille Leonard in the hole. Betty coughs one up this weekend. When did when did Shaquille Leonard change his name? By the this way, this summer. 
Oh, okay. I, I, was, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Uh, that's his. That's Very his. Very random. Uh, yeah, that's his thing. Uh, uh, NBA. You can bet on it when it comes back. NHL. When NHL returns, combat sports. We got uh, UFC this weekend, I believe. Also, esports and even golf. Bet online continues to be the top online resource for all of your sports information from live in-game betting, props, and futures. Head to bet online today, or use your mobile device to join today and make your first sports bet. Use our promo code Believe fifty B L E A V five zero to receive your fifty percent welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts. All right. Thank you, Sean. So before we get to these games really quick, I, I want to talk about what was announced today, and I tweeted it, uh, tweeted it out. The FCS championship game is airing on Sunday, January 8th this year. Yeah. From, from let, me, let me just double check. Yeah. It was from their official 20, page, right? 2023 at 2 p.m. Eastern time. I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm, I am sick of the dumbasses that are in charge of the broadcasting deals uh the fcs in general you guys are goddamn idiots like i'm I'm tired of beating around the bush you're you're idiots you're absolute idiots why would you air a game on a sunday in the last weeks of the nfl season it's so disrespectful to air that game and if i remember correctly this game usually plays in a gap what are you looking up Oh, playoff schedule. Yeah, because it used to be in the wild card week, no? no well, usually... Or not wild card, uh, uh, Pro Bowl. Around them, but it, it, that doesn't... That's not the mainly the issue. It's the fact this is airing on a Sunday, and it's usually in a nice gap between the FBS National Championship game and the bowl games that are played, where last year it was one of the main games that were on. It was one of the best games to... It was, it was an available game to tune into. I don't understand why they thought that this was a good idea. No one's going to watch it. Airing all these other games in week zero and also the Jackson State Florida A&M game, that game airing on a Sunday, that was great for exposure. Being on air when there was no other conflicts for games that other people would be tuning into. Right. There's a ton of viewership. And the lack of, of willingness to... I guess to invest in the FCS. I don't even know if I would call it an investment, but the lack of willingness to work with the FCS and not give a shit is is ridiculous, and I'm tired of it. Yeah, so it looks like NFL Wild Card Round Week One starts on January 14th, 2023. So it'll be that weekend before the NFL playoffs. But also, as we know, there's an extended week. So the eighth, they'll be playing football. No, they will. It'll be a, a, a huge weekend for football. There'll be a lot of yeah. teams that are going to be out of the playoffs. Oh, I don't like this one bit. I uh, I was double checking. And... Why would you put it on that Monday? Put it on that Monday after after uh, 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 week 17 or week 18 ends. It should be on a Saturday regardless. I was double checking. And Take it the aired... Monday or the Friday, honestly. I don't want to compete with either of those. But... Uh, yeah, Personally. last year it aired. Last year it aired on it, it aired on a Saturday. I, I don't. I regardless the the lack of understanding. Why did you have no conflicts last year? Do you I recall? Forget, but I remember it was the only thing that was on. I remember that it was the only game that was on, and we woke up early. We tried to do that the the Twitter space that nobody tuned in for. <laughs> it wasn't New Year's Day. What? No, no, it, it, it was. No. It was not. I remember being. Um, I remember being back. I remember in my being apartment. violently hung over though. Well, you were always violently hungover. So oh, well, I went out. Really no, 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 not just like a standard hungover. Like, like I remember waking but up. But it, 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 it was a. My point is, it was a Saturday. It was a Saturday, though. Is, is the point though? And they actively chose to place this on a Sunday during games when it, it's not going to get watched. And this is a, a level of football that normally has to compete with high level games every single week. But for the national championship, if it is the sole form of entertainment for football on people are going to watch it and it's probably going to be a better game than it was last year i don't know who controlled this decision i don't know who made this decision but you are a goddamn idiot it's a goofy decision it's a good it's a bad it's more than a goofy decision i feel like that's like too that's too friendly that's it's goofy 
I don't know. It, it doesn't. It doesn't seem well thought out. It doesn't seem like there was a person in the room that was taking all things into account. I'm sure there are. I'm sure I've heard the term chancellors before. I've heard that the, there there are groups and, and committees, and there's this and that. It's. I'm sure it's there are people. Like the... No, go ahead. We're gonna say. Sorry. I'm sure there are people that that it's their jobs to make that decision. It just does not seem like they're using much common sense. Like there's not anybody saying, "Hey, hold up. What about this?" It just seems like, okay, let's read off the minutes. All right, this is what we've decided to come upon. If anybody disagrees, say I or whatever, nay. And then you get six to four, and then you got to whittle it down, whittle it down. And there's no nobody, hey, this isn't great. This is this is not going to fly with everybody. I, I, I think that what this is more so is that the FCS and those that organize it are easily bent over by ESPN and at the mercy of what they tell them what they want Very to do. Very good point. All right, we need better direction because the, the quality of football is good enough that people want to watch it. And if there are no other games on, people will tune in. It could it was, get quality viewership, especially if it's a good game. People are going to tune in. Yeah, it was January 8th last year. Yeah, same Saturday. It was on a Saturday. It is hot as balls in my apartment right now, and I can't turn my AC on. Otherwise, my mic would be horrible. And I am so freaking hot right now. So, Sean, let's get on to, uh, Please. to game one. Not only am I mad, but I am starting to get really sweaty, and it is making me progressively more pissed off and annoyed. Why would uh, Screw you, FCS, the people that that handle the, the broadcasting rights. You're idiots. Uh, game one that we want to discuss that is played on Thursday, UT Martin at Missouri State. Two ranked opponents, Missouri State and UT Martin. Actually, I... Who did UT Martin play last week? I just had a total brain fart. Oh, UT Martin played Western Illinois. Okay, so both these programs got victories in in their first week one games. UT Martin suffered a big loss, losing a Noma, their edge rusher, who entered the transfer portal. I guess he had that, a sack uh, for Michigan also. Yeah, you see that? which good for him. Good for him. Stepping in and contributing that early. But they had holes to fill for that UT Martin defense. They still looked really strong. They're still a ranked program being laid, uh, being led, being led. Being the people led, are laid by. <laughs> being led by Martin Dresser, who had a really good game last week against Western Illinois. They now have to face. No, Dresser Missouri. win, buddy. <laughs> oh you're a boob i'm cutting around that no you can't you have to promise me you don't you have to promise me you don't. i'm so I, I, hot i didn't i'm so <laughs> fucking hot you can't cut this joe it Please. is so hot in my apartment god damn it i'm so hot right now you don't it is 90 out it is 90 degrees out sean i'm losing my mind I'm losing my goddamn mind trying to tape this podcast. We'll keep it succinct here. Uh, dress, uh, dresser win popped off versus Western Illinois last week. Yep. 300 yards, three touchdowns. I don't care if them. it sounds like shit. I'm not doing it. Turn it, it I on. Care. I don't care if it sounds Turn like it shit. Turn it on, brother. Oh. Is that better? I meant to say dresser win while I was having a heat stroke. It, you might have just had a real stroke. My my apartment is like a an oven. Dresser right. Win had a really good game leading their offense against Western Illinois. Spank. They they now have to face Jason Shelley and Tyrone Scott, which is arguably one of the top quarterback receiver duos in FCS football. I think losing Anoma. And not having a lot of other key players on the roster. I am very heavily leaning Missouri State in this game because of how good we know uh, Jason Shelley and Tyrone Scott can be. So are you tipping your hand for FC estimates? Because I don't know if I'm going to tip my hand here. Uh, I, I tip in a little bit. Yeah, all right. Tip off then. You tip off. <laughs> Do we have another featured game? <laughs> Look, uh, for this for the feature games also, we're not going to be talking very much about uh, 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 conference standings or how much is going to impact in week two because there is not much of an impact in week two. We get to week six, week week seven, 
that's when we talk about who's really going to be taking the 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 conferences, who's going to be winning the the SWAC or the MEAC or the A Sun or the Big Sky or the Missouri, whatever it is. Uh, that's when we're going to start talking about that in more in depth when it when it when it counts. Right now, it doesn't really count. Teams are still trying to get their feet underneath them. Start off two and zero, so it's it's a little more succinct. Not as much uh, 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 true what lies ahead analysis here. Sean, for the second game, Montana versus South Dakota, we have a highly ranked Montana team that we have known for their defensive prowess is facing off with a program that is very underrated this year in South Dakota. There's a lot of really quality players, but I point to what South Dakota's Carson Camp brings to the table and how underrated of a player he has been and not really talked about enough uh, as a player and as a prospect for the next level. But this game, surprisingly, because South Dakota is not ranked, is not getting a lot of uh, buzz, it seems. Yeah, Carson Camp is kind of the Stetson Bennett of the FCS, is kind of how I see it from uh, the portrait that you've uh, painted for me. What? They're, they're very uncomparable, not even comparable. Carson cool. Camp has a higher chance of getting drafted than Stetson Bennett does. You're a hater. I'm Team Nagy all the way, by the way. Okay. Uh, just so you know that. Um, <laughs> look, just the way that you painted that portrait. I know you've been you've been rallying behind Carson Camp uh, since early last year. Uh, so I, I know you have faith in him to, to lead that South Dakota squad. I have a little more faith in Lucas Johnson, personally. Uh, just Montana, I think, has a better infrastructure. And he dismantled Northwestern State. I follow a guy. I follow one person from Northwestern State, and he is all in on Northwestern State. So he was rather quiet last Saturday uh, when they were getting crushed 47 who, who nothing. Who is I, that? I, I, I can't even. I might follow a couple. Like, I know I know the, the NDSU Demons uh, uh, rally team or something like that. I, I had a. Did I tell you I had an incarnate word uh, trumpet player follow me on Twitter? That sounds about right. Him and Master. Dude, they they were build a not. Band. I'm they were gonna, not messing around with no with, with making. I, us, I didn't know there were that many people there on Twitter. For for, for it might be all fifteen of them. That <laughs> they're not gonna like that show. Uh, they, they already <laughs> don't like us, so <laughs> sure. Why would they? But Lucas Johnson, two hundred eight yards last uh, week and four touchdowns passing, and he also had seventy six yards on the ground, which is pretty impressive. Given, I mean, touchdown from Nick Osmo, touchdown from Marcus Knight. Love Marcus Knight. Uh, hopefully he can. I, I'm rooting for Marcus Knight here this year. I, I know I've been openly saying, oh, we're not going to be biased towards anyone. He's a guy that caught my eye a couple years ago. I'm really rooting for him. And then Mitch Roberts and then Junior Berg, uh, Burgeon combined for about 160 yards and four touchdowns receiving. So this Montana State, we're going to see who develops as the guy, the star for skill position of uh, Montana, uh, the guy, the star uh, for this team. Uh which someone always does. You know, you have your Sammy Wacom that, that that pops off for him. You have other other players that, that just become, okay, that's the dude this year. So we'll see who develops. Obviously, it's only week one, not buying too much into it, but it's, it's, it's a pretty exciting team filled with potential. It's hard to get a feel for how these rosters truly look after one week. It, it's, you know, it's not like we've got like an Anthony Richardson who pops off and it's easy to invest in a guy like that early on. But instead... With Montana, it's it feels like early on that they are still lacking some of that offensive firepower that like they've done in the past. Like it's always been a defensive driven team, and there's never been much of a, a, an entirety of an a offensive identity. They've shuffled between multiple quarterbacks in the past. And you talked about Marcus Knight having him back is important because he was so good a couple years ago uh, before he was inevitably injured and, and missed a lot of time because of that injury, but I need to see in this game because South Dakota has an underrated defense. Again, that whole roster is underrated. They have a quality defense. I would like to see how they come out and play and who can maybe start to develop that storyline is who could be that go-to player offensively. Because again, that's what's held them back in the past is being really good on defense, but not having somebody to lean on offensively. I think they'll figure it out this year. I don't know why. It's a gut feeling. I think that they just they're they'll f figure it out for a committee for a while, and then someone's going to become the dude. That's that's how I project it. And if that makes me foolish, it makes me foolish. But that's a gut feeling from uh, from me. All right, uh, Sean. Last game that just to acknowledge, Incarnate Word is playing Nevada. Who Nevada? Nevada. I don't know the correct pronunciation there. I, you know, I know I just completely knocked them, but. <laughs> In that fan base, but this is a an upset watch game because Nevada sucks. 
Nevada oh. is a very bad program. They lost all of their guys sure. since uh, Carson Strong left that program. They lost uh -huh. a lot of dudes. Cardinal Word, man, they looked better than we were willing to admit that they were. This might be an upset watch game. You can have it an upset watch game. You're not. Gonna? I'm planting the flag. That's what I'm doing. You're I went. You're a, upset. I went as far as I was going to go, apologizing and succumbing to the Incarnate Word fans. I will go no farther. I'm not oh. going to pick an upset. They got what they wanted out of me. That's what they got. I'm not going to push it any. I'm not going to push it. All right. I don't want them to get greedy and think that this is going to become an incarnate word show where we're always bringing them up. This is a good upset watch. I'll give it to you. Mm -hmm. They came out strong week one. No one's going to deny that. I will say no more than that, though. You're a real, real incarnate word hater. You were, I was I'm just not even a hater. About the, I'm not even a hater. It sounds like you are. Look, they came at me. They came at us. I think they got their 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 just due. Yeah, but Nevada sucks. Nevada hey, sucks. I'm not, I'm not saying this isn't an upset watch. All right. Sounds like you're trying to make the case for it not to be. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying, even though I was wrong, I'm not getting on the hype train. All right. I'll be at the station waiting for a different train. Thank you. Uh, uh, this one I'll, I'll pass on. I I'll get to my destination later, to the town of hype. All right. But but right now, I'm not getting on with Incarnate Word. They got what they wanted out of us. All right, let's get to FT estimates, Sean. Please. Um, let's do these picks right now. So last week, we ended up having a uh, very close battle for the seven games that were selected. We're doing 10 this week uh, to get to more round number in the game of totals. But out of 10 so far, we are tied 7-7 seven, seven because, Sean, you went 5-7. for seven. I, on the other hand, went 6-7. for seven. What did I get wrong here? You got wrong the Campbell Citadel pick. Oh, yeah. And then we both there was a game that I think we both collectively got wrong. Wait, let me let me pull this up. Um I just had it pulled up. Wow. Oh, so, thanks. Yeah, it's why we're going there. Can you like just not be positive about <laughs> Oh, it was the Garnet Word game. That was the other one. <laughs> Look, that, okay, so I'm that super was excited one. for Campbell. But I'm, I need FC estimates this year. I need it. I need the win. Well, that's also not picking Campbell. Also, it seems like we got kind of a heel in the baby face going to Campbell. So <laughs> it's your turn to be the Which favorite. is ironic because everybody, yeah, everybody <laughs> usually hates me, but now everybody likes me for once. And that's yeah. why I forever will be grateful for the Campbell uh, <laughs> football program. I will forever be grateful for that program. Um, all right, Sean. First game, UT Martin at Missouri State. I'm going with Missouri State here. Safe pick. I'm just I gotta stay safe. It's tight. It's a tight game. Look, if I was up uh, eight like I normally am by this time of the year, I, I would take UT Martin, take the risk to edge out a win versus Joe. But I'm going with Missouri State here. I got I got to play the game, people. All right. Okay, I am going to also go with Missouri State. Um, not gonna overthink that one. South Dakota at Montana. I'm going with Montana. I'm not overthinking it. They're they're ranked for a reason. Yeah. Uh, it could be a close game. I think more likely it could than be. not. Yeah, it will not be. Um, you and I at North Dakota. This is well, a strange decision. I got to pull away, Joe. I have to pull away, and I'm choosing North Dakota in this game. It's early. I know it's early. I'm choosing them. I have to take a couple risks. So I'm going with North Dakota. Instead of the blue chip, you and I. Yeah, I can't. I can't do that, man. That's that's sure. a, that's that's nuts to pick North, uh, North Dakota you? is depleted, and I know that they gave Nebraska a little bit of a hard time, but they lost Otis Way since that. Like, I don't know who else is really on that roster. Uh, I'm Understood. going with you and I. That is going to be an easy pick for me. ETSU at the Citadel. Um, the Citadel can go screw for all I all I care. If you lose me, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm not. No. All right. I'm tired of getting bullied and picked on and, and losing to people that I have faith in or because of people that I have faith in the Citadel full of hacks. And, you know, the people that, that rep the Citadel also. Oh, Did you're they, so you're coming at the FCS fan uh, radio guys. We should be called FCS fan nation. They should be called hacks. No, 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 Ron, right, no, it's FCS fans nation radio. No, yes. Oh, God. <laughs> Something. Wait, I'm looking it up. 
You know what? That'll make me double FCS down on the hack. Nation Radio. FCS Nation Radio. I'm taking ETSU. Wow, you really went at him. That's on you. That's your poor decision there. Uh, I'm also going with ETSU, but I didn't need to disrespect anybody. Well, that was an interesting sure. creative choice on your end. <laughs> um, <laughs> Campbell at William & Mary. Why don't you say yours first? Mine's. I went with William and Mary. I, yeah. As much as I go ahead. Yeah. Campbell, I just wanted you. I just. Just. I'm I tired. Of you. Go ahead. William and Mary made Charlotte look silly. I'm not going to do that. I'm also picking William and Mary. All right. So, so for people that think that Sean's a, a big, big fat hater, uh, you, you, are you can take one hater. word. You can take you, two words. One word out of that. You picked Campbell for a very different reason than I did, because you uh, you you refuse to respect Campbell. That's why. Okay. Simo at SIU. I'm going with SIU. Go ahead. Sorry, David. Coach Nick Hill. I'm sorry, Coach Nick Hill. But after last you know, week, <laughs> I have less faith in you, and I'm going with Simo. You know, you've made me do my own bit to back Coach Nick Hill because Good. of you. Should have showed up for the interview. SIU. <laughs> right. Uh, UC Davis at South Dakota State. South Dakota State. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, South Dakota State. After the way that they played South Dakota State. Lehigh at Georgetown. Lehigh. Creative pick, Joe. Uh, <laughs> shut up. Uh, Lehigh at Georgetown's garbage. Uh, the gar- Georgetown has never produced a good football player. Um, UNH at Albany. <laughs> UNH. Uh, UNH. Is that not the most disrespectful thing that you could say about a program? That's it's not, pretty disrespectful. Not only are they bad, but they don't even produce a good player. Um, I'm also going with UNH. Um Morgan State at Towson is the last one. I'm taking Towson, but Towson could also very easily fumble this. They just could because Towson. Ta- this is a Towson loss waiting to happen. Yeah, That's just Morgan's- what it is. It's just Morgan State. Okay, there's nothing going on for him, right? I'm not. I'm not hating, but that's the yeah. situation. But it would be the most Towson loss ever to have it that would happen. Be, from an inside source, that Morgan State program is a little bit of a mess. Um, I, but that's that, that, that would just that for could how we well pick be, and the picks yeah. that we make, it seems like Towson's gonna lose that. Would you like to address, uh, by the way, uh, Jamie's uh, statement that he wants to now participate in? FCS oh, I thank you for reminding me. Yeah, thank you. This, I love Jamie Williams, Virginia guy. He's he's been with us for a while, he's been a big supporter, probably the biggest supporter that we have. Me, him and Colin and then and the Kennesaw boys, and then and the, a around. lot of mass, all the great people. Jamie Williams is up there. He's in our, our 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 cabinet of the of the Hack City supporters, right? If we have something to pitch, he's got us. He, you know, he's all, uh, welcoming ears and and eager to respond. Jamie Williams decided on his own accord that he is going to be placing votes in FC estimates as well on our show, on this show. Now, previously we have set up something or had a listener set up something, which I very much enjoyed, which was the fan, vote. the fan vote, which was a Google spreadsheet uh, where you could put, you make your picks End of the week, we see who did best, we see who did worst. That that I love that. I love that so much because I got to see who was picking what, who had the who had the pulse, who was hot, who did that. That was fun. It was a lot of fun. This is different than that. This is Jamie entering the universe past where anybody else has. Yeah, the exchange was I'm going to do FC estimates with you. That was the the, the, the and again I love Jamie. And I actually said I was like, Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And then uh Sean Sean was like, "What the heck? Like you are so I'm not even that affected by it. I'm not even that opposed to the idea. I'm uh, not. It sounds like I am. I'm not. It just seemed a little brash, a little bit forward. No, yeah, a little bit. Just a little. Just just a little, just. I needed to hear you say that so I didn't think I was a crazy person. I knew you weren't going to approve of it. That's 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 hey, all I know. I don't. I don't not approve." But I don't, I don't fully like, like, this is just something I think there's something you and Jamie work out. All right. Because if no, I start, no, 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 if no, I start hearing, to oppose it, I think you, no, 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 no need, I didn't oppose you put words to, in my no, mouth. No, 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 you need to contact Jamie and you need to have this discussion with him. Jamie, I need you to contact Sean because he will not contact you. Know you know who Jamie can contact? Uh, Jamie can contact Colin, Colin, Cetric, and then Colin <laughs> can relay the information to us. Yeah. I, you can reach our secretary, Colin. <laughs> 
at Pat's fan, New England fan 12. New, New I England hate 12. that I have that memorized. Uh, yeah. You know who? So no one, no one claimed big grinder 45. I think Colin should be big grinder 45, but he Why won't be paid. He? I think Colin, I think we have officially voted. You you are now big grinder 45. That is you need that, to be. All right. I know you have the SFX FX F, FX bowl, and then people know you for that, and that you have that, but the goldfish bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The goldfish bowl and then the, the 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 down by the river fish bowl and all that stuff. All right. There's a lot of fish bowls. We understand, all right. But you kind of we kind of need you here. This is an admittance grinder 45. openly to our entire audience. Yes. The dozens, or the the tens of people that listen to this show, they're going to be understanding of, of where we're coming from, I hope. No Jamie Williams, no take it up with Colin. Her. You yes. can do your FC estimates. I'd still Dur- prefer Director of Marketing, poll. Colin Cetric. Yes. Okay. Easy. Easy on Director of Marketing there. <laughs> Uh, all right, that's a good note to wrap us up on before yes. I uh, I have another meltdown uh, because of the heat. Uh, at Joe DeLeon, at Sanderson Radio, um, I hope it's hot for everyone else tomorrow so they can <laughs> deal with what I'm dealing with. Um, yeah. Hey, close it. Drive safe. All right, drive safe.